Hi, this is Rack, and I'm going to explain you how to install mods for Tomb Raider Legend and Anniversary. I'm making this video because um, noticed, I noticed that there's some people suggesting the old method of uh, installing mods for these games. Uh, so I'm going to show you the latest method of actually uh, doing this with uh, Endress Menu Hook, which is right here. I'm going to... Uh, send a link to Andres Mini Hook in the description. So what you do is uh, you just just go to the link I sent in the description, which will lead you here and you just you just scroll down. Okay, so this this is version V1.13. Uh, you should um, once in a while you should always make sure that there's uh, some uh, updates of the uh, menu hook so that you can download the latest version um, and not uh, and always be up to date. Okay, so this new version includes a mods folder. So um, basically, the old method was to the old method had a different path uh, for the um, DRM files and the other types of files, and now it has changed. So I'm just gonna really show you everything on how to do this. Okay, so uh, let's assume, let's assume that we want to uh, install a mod for Anniversary. So first of all, I'm just gonna open Anniversary so that you can see um, like that uh, we have no mods installed. Okay, so we have um, default Anniversary Lara here. And then we go in game, we just, we just yeah, we just have a default Anniversary Lara. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna install the mod now. Install the hook first though. Okay, so uh, for anniversary it's three T R A E menu hook. A E it's for is for anniversary edition because the code name of anniversary is actually anniversary edition. So let's go to download, then you just unpack the archive. And we have all these four files here. So what you do is you just copy and paste those on your anniversary folder okay and then we also have to replace this file Vinco 32 dll you just download it then you also copy paste this or just move it in here okay so now if if you run your anniversary you should have the um, menu hook here and um, you will be able to uh, do a lot of cool stuff with it, but I'm not gonna explain you that because I already made a video for that, which I will also link in the description. Um, so yeah, so the hook now is installed correctly and you can just exit the game. And now let's actually try to let's actually install a mesh mod for the game. So uh, the first thing you need to do is to create a mods folder in the, in the game's root directory. And here we're gonna place uh, DRM files, raw files, or all other kind of folders and files that the mod includes. So uh, for now I'm gonna show you how to install my unreleased Age of Darkness project mod. Okay, so uh, most of the, pretty much all the mods uh, for Anniversary and Legend are gonna look like this. So you have some, you have an archive file and you just extract it and then you're gonna have a folder with a lot of DRM files depending on how big the mod is. What you do is you just select them all, copy, Anniversary, mods, you copy paste, you paste them here. And now if we're on Anniversary, we should have our mod installed. So now we have AOD Lara instead of instead of Anniversary Lara, as you can see, and um, I can also press F9 to switch outfits since I made a lot of outfits for this mod. Garvier, and there's the wetsuit Lara. There's a lot of outfits. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything you need to know. Um, if you if you don't like the hook uh, appearing when you first run the game, you can actually edit this file, which is a config file. You can open it with whatever text editor. Um, yeah, you can set 
doesn't show the menu automatically while starting the game, you can set this to true. And now if we run the game, the hook won't appear immediately. So if you want to see it, you either press F7 or F8 if you want to interact with it. Okay, so that was pretty much everything. And I'm going to show you also for Legend, which is pretty much exactly the same process. You just download the R7 menu hook. You unpack it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. Thank you, Firefox. Yes, allowed it to fucking download. Okay, now we are gonna just bring all these files to the legend folder. And uh, also the um, Binkfo32 file. I'm just gonna take it from the anniversary folder. Okay, now if we're on Legend, we also have the menu hook here installed. Okay, uh, let me try to. Can I? I can't. I'm just gonna go to the Craft Manor. Okay, I just just wanted to show that it's default Lara right now because we have no mods installed. So if we exit the game, also um, something that the hook uh, added is if you press Alt F4, you, it actually um, it actually ex exits from the game, so that's uh, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, you just always made a mods folder here. We're gonna install the beta Lara mod from Harry's Art. Here it is, and you just you just place it here. Okay, now uh, when okay, so the game what okay. The game is running now, but as you can see, Lara from the menu has actually not changed. That's because um, uh, Lara from the main menu uses a different model for both Legend and Anniversary. So if you install a mod uh, for Lara and you don't see the menu Lara changed, uh, don't panic. That's just because the modder didn't uh, replace the new model. Um, sometimes modders just forget to do it so okay now we have beta legend Lara installed and Tomb Raider legend so yeah it's that easy to install mods it doesn't it takes a couple minutes it's uh, nothing too complicated um, please make sure to use this method to install mods uh, make don't use the old method of creating uh, the um, folder into root directory in the root disk and then uh, units because uh, that's uh, that's the old method uh, and uh, that also means that you're using an old version of the menu hook uh, which has way less features than the new version so yeah that's pretty much everything just make sure you install mods for legend and anniversary this way um, and uh, that's everything bye